It's finally here. The 2019 wet season has begun. Following the passage of the first tropical wave of the season, we've seen all those showers coming across Trinidad and Tobago. Now, the May tends to mark that bridge between the dry and the wet season. And usually we begin to see the start of the wet season during this month. Back last year, it was on May 28th. Now, the outlook for the first part of our wet season is that it will be less rainfall than usual. And then for the latter half, from September to November, you'll likely see more rainfall than usual. And unfortunately, this will add to the flooding risk as we go through September to November. Now, out towards the Atlantic, we still have yet another tropical wave set to come by. You'll begin to see more of those tropical waves coming through the Eastern Caribbean for the next few months. Now, today's rainfall should eventually ease through Wednesday. So you should see a gradual drying of the skies to the latter half of tomorrow. So a few early morning showers across Tobago. And then eventually you will see some brightness coming through from Charlottesville, Roxburgh, and then down to Scarborough. For Trinidad, some lingering showery spells are expected tonight, especially over western areas of Trinidad. A few early morning showers are again possible from Blanchichez to Diego Martin down towards Piaco and down to San Fernando as well. But you will notice that as you go through the day, there will be some improvements from the east for Rio Claro and Guaragari, and then eventually spreading towards San Fernando by the end of the day. But all the while, you will continue to see some showers coming and going. Temperature-wise, tonight, a mild night, 23 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 24 in Tobago. It will feel humid still tomorrow, 33 expected in Trinidad and 31 in Canaan. Now through Thursday, Friday and Saturday, just occasional showers are expected. We return to fair weather, that is most of those showers should be fairly brief and you'll also notice the temperatures rise to 34 in the latter half of this week. For fish folk and mariners, you continue to see those northerly swells of 11 to 12 seconds, pushing up to 13 at times. That will continue as you go through Thursday with the moderate choppy seas of 2 meters out in the Atlantic and those at southeasterly winds behind that tropical wave at 15 to 20 knots. Now for the Caribbean, it continues to see that tropical wave out there in the Eastern Caribbean. But for Central America, there continues to be a bit more cloudiness around, especially around the Costa Rica and Honduras. Lots of uh, rainfall expected here once more because landslides and possibly some travel disruptions. And some of that is actually spreading into the Caribbean Sea as well. So for the Dominican Republic, Haiti, as well as Jamaica, showery spells will continue through Wednesday further to the east across the eastern caribbean that tropical wave will continue to spark a few showers from the leewards coming down to the windwards as well and then down to georgetown notice a few brisk showers and a chance of a thunder shower with a high of 32 expected in georgetown on wednesday but for us the wet season has begun we'll be seeing a few more showers over the next few months that's your weather and that's it from me